Hello, my name is Richard Matas. Here I am once again with Brother Jesus, praise the Lord, getting the word together and putting it out there, broadcasting it, and allowing people to hear what the word says, that it might edify and it might build you up, praise the Lord. There's times when we go through difficulties, but God is the answer for that, amen? Today I'm gonna speak a little bit on our journey of faith is like a race, amen? And um, looking at the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, one to three, the word says, uh, therefore we also, since we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance uh, the race that is set before us. Praise God. I just thank the Lord that I can bring this message to you, and uh, I thank uh, Brother Jesus right here, that the cameraman, for, for really helping me in this area quite a bit. Praise the Lord. But, you know, at the time, uh, the first readers of Hebrews, the Greeks were were famous for running races, you know. And the first Olympic race began in the year 77, 6 C. They trained for years uh, to run such races, amen. And the runners would not, would not were, uh, were anything that would slow them down. Likewise, followers of Jesus are in the race, praise God. This is not a short race like a sprint, Rather, we have a long distance run, amen? And we know there's going to be hardships and trials and mean tribulations, amen? But we're running that race, praise the Lord, that, that God has given us, praise the Lord. Also, we should receive encouragement uh, from those who have run before us, praise God. The Greek runners were surrounded by thousands of witnesses, we also are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, and these witnesses are mentioned in Hebrew 11, the famous and those unnamed, praise the Lord. They are witnesses of the faithfulness of God. The faith of those uh, that have run before us should inspire us, praise God. You know, we read so much about these older people that have gone with the Lord and the great mark that they left behind. You know, it really picks you up to the point that you just want to keep it going all the time, amen? You see, all of the heroes of Hebrews 11 testify that faith in God enables us to be faithful even unto death, amen? We do not have uh, time to mention all of them, praise God. We should get rid of uh, anything that hinders or entangles us as we run, you know? I know that I've been running the race for about 46 years now, and the race is is hard. I'm still in that race. I haven't given up yet. Amen. I'm still struggling, and but I'm moving ahead, praise God. Also, you will never see a runner in a race carrying things they do not need to run with. Amen. As believers, we should pray and, and examine our lives uh, before we run. Amen. There's things that have to be taken off to make us feel a little bit lighter as we run the race. Amen. Also, to travel, we must travel light. We should get rid of sins uh, that easily entangle us. Amen. Also, getting entangled or caught often leads to death. Amen. Hebrews warns us to get rid of any sin that entangles uh, before it leads to spiritual death. No one in a spiritual welfare gets tangled up with the affairs of the world so he may please God. Amen. Who has called him to be a soldier, praise the Lord. We should run our race with perseverance, patience, and endurance, uh, the race uh, that is marked before us, you know. I think uh, this race is tremendous. It's spiritual. You know, we don't battle against the things uh, that we see, but against the things that are unseen, you know. And sometimes, you know, these thoughts that come into the mind and, and these things that try to make us stop from running this race really interferes with our lives. But I learned one thing through all the challenges that I've been in, praise the Lord, uh, that the battle belongs to God, and I'm running in the race that God has placed me in, praise God. You know, it's difficult at times, amen? But perseverance is the race. Patience, uh, endurance, amen? Uh, 
the race marked before us is, is hard at times, amen? That our job is to do what? Not stop it, keep moving forward, praise the Lord. Short races like the 100-yard meters uh, do not require patience. They are over in 10, 12 seconds, amen? But the race we are in is not a dash. It is a long-distance race. You know, when I was a young man, I used to run the mile, praise the Lord. I was pretty good at running the mile, praise the Lord. And uh, there were two brothers, there were twins uh, that used to run with me. I could never catch them. You know, they were they, they would play with me as they run sometimes because they were that good. Uh, but that didn't stop me, praise the Lord, amen, from running that race uh, and, and really challenging myself to be better than they were, although... They won the race, praise the Lord, uh, but I didn't mind coming in third, praise God, amen, because I had the power and the authority in me, praise the Lord, to be able to finish that one-mile race, praise the Lord, and after I got through, they gave me a little medal, you know, that said, hey, third place, you know, you know, but the race that we're running is unseizable. We keep moving forward in the name of Jesus, praise the Lord, in such a race uh, how fast we run is not important. What matters is endurance uh, and perseverance as we run this race, praise God. Patience to stay in the race is very, very important, praise the Lord. Amen. Consider these wise sayings about patience, persistence, endurance, and perseverance. Amen. They say that a spoon full of perseverance is often worth more than a bucket full of brains. Amen. And this is so true, praise the Lord. Uh, patience strengthens the spirit, sweetens the temper, you know, quenches the fires of anger, conquers pride, uh, and bridles the tongue. Amen. This is important for the believer. These, these races are tremendous. But they're wonderful races. Why? Because it leads us into everlasting life with Christ Jesus when we finish the race, praise God. Amen. Our job, praise the Lord, uh, is not stop, praise the Lord. Uh, put on your Nikes, hallelujah, and run the race, praise the Lord. Uh, and you're going to be a winner because there's something that's waiting for you at the end of that race. Uh, and that's a crown of rejoicing because you finished the race and made it into the kingdom of God, praise the Lord. That's where we're heading in this race, praise the Lord. We're not just running a, a simple race. Uh, we're running the race of our lives, praise the Lord. And our job, praise the Lord, with the help of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus, we're able to finish the race and win the race. Why? Because it's not about me. It's about Jesus and the strength that he gives us, praise God. God makes a promise. Faith believes it. Hope expects it. And patience wait for it. Amen. That's where we're running, church. And I implore you, man. Don't give up, praise the Lord. Uh, take off the things that hinder the race uh, that you might w run a light weight race, praise the Lord, uh, in a heavy storm, praise God, amen. But at the same time, you got to remove the sin and the drought and all these things uh, as you run, praise the Lord, so you can be a winner in the end, amen. I really believe uh, that God has called you to this race, praise the Lord, to let the world know, praise the Lord, amen, that you're a person that can endure every trial and tribulation that you go through, and the race belongs to you. Why? Because in Christ Jesus, you are the winner, praise God. Hallelujah. Isn't that beautiful to really understand that I'm a winner and not a loser? I also praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You know, Jesus wants to come into your life and and renew you, amen, make a new creature out of you, amen. He wants to break you and reconstruct you to his will, praise the Lord. That's his job because he loves you, amen. He's the one that will remove your sin, praise the Lord. He's the one that won't backbite you or hurt you in any way, but set you free from the bondage that you're in. And all it takes is, Jesus, come into my life and be my savior. I want to serve you now. And he's going to do it. Why? Because he loves you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah.